Okay, so it's Rita and Scott today. We're gonna ease into this conversation. We were talking just a little bit ago about doing a cosmic dialogue into something where what, what event or what thing would happen that would actually just create the total momentum for us to start doing something in 24 hours, like to like start really digging into a creative venture or Love Economy Press or a project Rita had talked about. Like what if we could like speak into being what needed to happen to where we knew that in 24 hours it was going to create enough momentum that we were going to just start that right away. Tell me, you explain that to you. Rita. Well, not even us started, but except for speaking about it, having a conversation and then the thing that we need shows up within 24 hours the, to take the next step. So it's not even us making it happen other than having this desire and voicing it, expressing it. And so then the question was, what well, because it is happening. I've, I've seen it several times this week and Scott's experiencing it too. So then the question is, what do we want to speak about? What, what do we want most to show up in the next 24 hours? Wow, okay. Well, first I would say the first thing I would wanna see show up in the next 24 hours is um more intuitive flow and connection mm -hmm. i mean even more like more like what we know we're capable of as beings that are universal more intuitive flow actually but, not what we know we're capable of but what god knows we're god capable. knows mm -hmm. yes So I'm thinking some things in terms of maybe an event, and I think you're speaking in terms of like what we can speak into. So mm -hmm. why don't you start and then I, I can kind of okay. get going with that too. I need to shift my brain away from an event externally. Oh, okay. Well, we don't have to go far in the future. Um, no. September. Oh, it's the 21st of September. Oh, that's right. You remember? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Well, I remember on the 21st of August, um, we really started noticing that conversations were incredibly powerful, isn't even the word, um, active, um, conversations were in action more so than they had been in the past. And so we really got clear about what we wanted to see show up by the 22nd of August so that we could move forward and um, expand and develop and even I think a week or two earlier, I had said, I just really feel this huge desire to just speed everything up as, as far as my developing myself goes. And so it felt like it had begun. And so you and I, um, you had gotten really excited about developing Love Economy Press specific in specific ways and so we were putting together a plan for that and that could include several people uh include and and help several people um and so we were also looking at global issues that were going on and the things that I mean, there was so much that could be spoken and begun 
at that time. It was, a, it was almost a little bit daunting to feel the responsibility of having that ability to change the course of just about anything. And so that got us really, where, where did that take you in your, in your cells and your desire for yourself and humanity and the world? It, it was just really big. It was big. It, it, well, we've always had this change me first mm -hmm. kind of mentality about us and a kind of as an ethos of this change me first. Um, oh, I just got teary. So there it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, and I'm not sure where it started, but it, once it started rolling, I had started talking about these things to you. I said, well, I, I'm changing now and, and I, I just can't wait to see what happens in my environment. And um, all of a sudden, all these like kind of magical, beautiful things started appearing in my, my home. When I decided to love my home and not move away from it, um, a friend of mine came forward, like, I don't even know if I even asked her. And she like started feeding me all these ideas and all of these things. And um, I haven't spent a whole lot of money, but I've now got like really great things that I love, you know, that have just shown up. I, I basically, I like feel like I have a new, a new living space, um, some new furniture, some new ways of displaying my artwork, some new, just it's, I, I love that because I even spoke it that way. It's like, I'm going to see, it's like I was going to witness what was going to happen. Mm -hmm. I wasn't connected to say this is a goal of mine because it's never really been about a goal or like here's this achievement that I want to go through here's this here's my list here's my pros and cons here's my my um color palette that, that wasn't even on the table it was just let's let's change me let's change my thoughts change my attitudes change me first and then I was more expectant to feel like, and then I know I have an intent for this environment to change them. So I was just excited to see what would happen. So that's, that's a, the first example mm -hmm. for me. Um, and it's still continually evolving here in, in Scott's home. But I feel like, oh, oh, and then I got it on the computer, um, which the, you know, money i guess money currency manifested so i could do that which we're going to put to good use which we'll put to good use for love economy press yeah um and then, then i have to do the whole same thing over again with like the office space i'll just have to sit in there and say like, let's see what manifests here mm -hmm. because i've slightly ignored that office space for a little while to so really just let the living space manifest um and my day started to be a little less predictable, mm -hmm. which, um, which was interesting. I had to like really detach and, you know, oh, I didn't make the money that I wanted to make, but then I did. Then I made like, I got called for a consulting thing and made some money. I was like, whoa, let's, let's like think about this. So, I think that what really changed for me was like I stopped speaking anxiety and expectation into that space because that's what would manifest would be my anxiety, my expectation, and then nothing would meet that. Um, well, right. Just just realize how different that is to um be speaking anxiety and fear and anger outrage and what it brings about and to eliminate that that in itself is world changing if everyone decided to do that 
Yeah, I have a. Okay, I don't. I want to maintain our confidentiality just in case somebody watches this. <laughs> I have a friend who owns a business, and she was converting her space in a building that she owns for her business and turning a big portion of it into an apartment. And pretty much she said, it's, she was excited. She said, oh, it's okay to like let that, that whole business, it's okay to let that go and just start this. And she'd been doing the same thing for like over 10 years. Yeah. And it was just evidence as I walked through the world of this idea of, I can let that go. Yeah, it's okay to let it go, quit, give up. It's, yeah, it's not a failure or a uh, relinquishing of yourself. It's maybe an expanding of yourself. Right. And so I started like thinking about that in, in relation to some of my friends who have gone through some disasters lately in the Midwest, you know, mm -hmm. towns like, like Cedar Rapids, Iowa, where they had like that derecho winds and everything. And I thought, wow, look at this opportunity now for people to begin again. Mm -hmm. And so I started speaking that um, just privately first. It wasn't about them, it was about me saying, okay, I'm going to watch and see if I see any evidence of those folks letting go and starting again. Mm -hmm. But it was, I, I, I spoke that desire, I guess that, that real feeling. What if we let go? What if they let go? Mm. So there it was a month ago, collectively letting go of what is, what has been. Wow, did that yeah. create a massive shift and change a new world already in a month. Yeah. On September 21st, the 21st day of September, We'd had like messages about this song for a while. Mm hmm Since the beginning of the year, it showed up from the 70s. Yeah. The earth, wind, and fire. Earth, wind. Mm-hmm. And fire. fire. We can yeah. attribute a lot of things to those things. The earth, winds, fire. Um, and then to to be witness to the 21st day of September and then yeah. remember what we had brought into being yeah and never was a cloudy day never was a cloudy day and like being able to speak to someone's true soul mm -hmm. it was just a soul to soul and joyful and joyful um blue talk we could talk about whatever we wanted not about it was freedom in the speech right and intimate and intimate mm -hmm. yeah it was like a soul speaking connected yeah Con of connected souls so mm -hmm. um indigo is very close to the color blue right so um so for and that was like even before that term indigo child was even yeah conceived right i think that was in the late 80s that so we first heard that term um and maybe what we do is a lot of blue talk mm. this indigo bringing into being from a soul connection and our yeah. connection to God and our connection to 
knowing that we're interdimensional timeline for you. Spirits. Mm -hmm. So a month ago, we really got conscious of all of that. Well, that song had played in my head for a few months. And really on the 21st of August, I was going around the house singing it. Yeah. And um, then we had a conversation and we just got really aware every day of watching for evidence of what we had said the day before, regardless of who we were talking to. Yeah. It didn't matter at all. Yeah. And other people bringing it up even, bringing up the subject and then it's showing up the next day. Yeah. A friend that I follow on YouTube who's a singer started singing that song really like a few days before August 21st. Mm -hmm. the, the, the line that I focus on when I am now every morning is the first words of the song. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. So when I wake up now, my first thoughts are now, do you remember? Like as if, do you, are you, let's remember what we know happened today because if we are future beings do you remember mm -hmm. and then we just create right from remembering if we can reach into that part of the soul and the communication we have between our soul spirit god universe it's a remembering and so every morning I can wake up and say, do I remember what I had already done today? And that informed my choices so much better. Do I remember doing this? No. Do I remember relaxing and napping and really easing into the dream space, yes. And to remember what we do in our sleep as well, what our spirit yeah. get up to while we're sleeping. Yeah. So that was a good exercise for me to like try to just, just expose time for a little bit. Do I remember what I'm supposed to be doing today? Do I remember what today is about? Um, do I remember what I spoke into being? And yeah. then I can choose what I can spoke to into being mm -hmm. really consciously. Right. And it all goes, it does all go back to change me first. Yeah. Because that is the most, that is the biggest catalyst for bigger change. And what a change just to shift your um, awareness towards what, what will be drawn to you by what you are feeling and speaking. I mean, people talk about law of attraction, but they don't live by that law with any kind of integrity or uh, consciousness. It's, it's steeped in achievement culture still. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, they engage it for their addiction, their addiction feelings. Whether that's for money or love or mm -hmm. purpose or um, yeah. When the feeling is really, I'm, I'm afraid of being broke. I'm afraid of being alone. Yeah. And to switch that around towards what do I really desire for myself and the world? How can I change myself and then see all those things change? And then just be a witness to seeing those things change. Yes. 
And then it, it brings that awareness to a larger, higher, more divine part of us rather than just all this physical neediness. Yeah. And then you become so powerful in the ways that we were made to be powerful. There's another word. I don't, that word isn't quite right, powerful, because it has the wrong, humans have put the wrong connotation to it. Constructed. Limitless. 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 But I'm feeling, you know, a very practical application to this ability. Like there's, a, maybe it is constructive. It's very constructive to know what you're able to create naturally. Yeah. Outside of the confines of what humans have decided is doable. And then it connects you to God because who who's going to be your consultant and your um partner in this kind of creation right outside of human confines yeah your your divine collaborator hmm I just got a really good feeling about September 21st. And it's the autumn equinox. So it's where our, our earth is completely vertical, astronomically. Mm -hmm. And it's actually at this point between whether it tips one way or another way. Oh, oh, oh. And, and also, can you imagine and it's also kind of like analogous to you know when you're on a swing when you're swinging from one side to another mm -hmm. when you're a little kid and you're in the swing you have that moment where you have this pause mm -hmm. right at the apex of your swing and you're like weightless yeah and you there's a pause between like that time where you're up and then you come back so, I mean, that 21st day of September, you know, you want to let go. I mean, that's that feeling of letting go on the swing mm -hmm. that happens. And so we have this 21st day of September. Oh, this is going to turn into my favorite day of the year. Yeah. Where um, we are completely vertical. There's, we've just come from this energy and now we're like, it's a still middle point where we can just release and let go however we want before something else for falling back mm -hmm. mm. so i love that that idea of the still point in the year based on just feeling like you're, yeah, no cloudy day here. Never was a cloudy day. Um, and I won't even begin to imagine yet how these moments really enhance our intuitive abilities. if we all collectively allow that. It's a breath. Yeah. It's like we're, the earth and all of us can take a small breath at this top of this lean. We're here vertically. We can take a breath before we go into a fall or a tilt. Right. Kind of a breath of the apex. 
there's so much in that. And the, the song came up in Scott's forecast in January for September. My for energy forecast talks about that, sh that moment when, and, and the vision was um, crispy, dry uh, landscape, you know, parched. And my question was, uh oh, is there fires in September? But then it shifted, it was like, like the pause, and then it shifted to lush green, just like switched to lush green abundance. And there's also the imminent, um, imminent occurrence, this, this event that is going to probably happen of, um, of an, a war event. And that feels like the day when we can either go to cataclysmic, a cataclysmic result for the world, or we can pause and go, wait a minute, let's try world peace. Right. And even I think we're even more capable of like seeing that as a, as a choice. Yes. In that very moment. Mm -hmm. That we can take a breath. Right. And that's what we're seeing today on September 21st, where it was rolling rapidly towards thermonuclear war and millions of people being devastated or killed. And today we feel things being reconsidered. Yes. We also see other like sorts of forms of control and manipulation being reconsidered. Mm -hmm. Or at least enough space. No, I'm not going to minimize it. They're being reconsidered. If I minimize that, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking into being something less. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this pause, this breath, you, you get to realize that if you're exhaling your own toxic air or not. And so those predators that are still out there receiving their internalized rewards from predation, mm -hmm. get to realize that they're, there's a little, they have a choice now. Take a full deep breath of clean energy and feel what that feels like right now. Mm -hmm. Do you want to go back to where you've been or just allow yourself to pause and change? This is explaining why I had been feeling for a couple of months before this that the predators were going to be surprised. We're going to have all of their predation, their actions of predation come back on them and turn it all on each other rather than on the rest of us that they consider to be their prey. Yeah, yeah. And that, that also feels important too. This, this pause is you have the opportunity right now to take a look at yourself and change or you'll get the correct results for what you do choose. Yeah. And there will be corrected results no matter what. Mm -hmm. you, you can choose to make those as painful as you want them to be. For yourself. For yourself. Or as easy, or as a feeling of ease. Mm -hmm. for yourself yeah and what a gift that period of grace even though it looks brief it has so much packed into it
And that's what this day is on September 21st. I really wonder if I'll get messages from, I, what is his name? The guy who was saying Earthman and Fire, he died. He is, he's no longer alive. The lead singer, the kind of the mastermind behind the man, the band. We may have to like get in touch with him. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah. But um, there's enough evidence. There's something happening in that song. He's, it does keep coming up. Mm -hmm. Not just, I mean, we never heard that. It's like from the 70s. We haven't heard that in the last few years. Right. Nobody's thought of it. Yeah. And all of a sudden, there's a reason here. Right. So. And there's just more evidence of just how prophetic a human can be. But now it's coming more yeah. rapidly. Yeah, we're just divine spirits and human bodies. Mm -hmm. So if we remember that that's who we are, do you remember that you're a divine being in a human body? Do you remember uh, the day you took the breath? Mm -hmm. do, you remember, do you remember that your physical body can also be divine? Yes. The, oh, do you remember that day that you could just take a breath and you knew that everything that you could do was just from spirit? And if you live all of your days like that, so you wake up and say, do you remember the 21st day of September, only blue talk and love? Or, the, or do you remember that every breath you take can be from spirit? And then what comes about when you remember that? Right. It isn't about, like, I, I don't think that it's going to be about us doing that and then realizing, oh my gosh, I've got to go get to work and do all this and this and this and this. It's just going to happen. We we will remember that moment and we'll keep remembering and like then creation is just going to unfold behind us. Right. Well, let me point out that for two years, you and I have been having conversations that start with, I remember when. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, obvious. <laughs> Do you have the message? Hello. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or has it been two? Maybe it's been more than two years. I can't remember. <laughs> it's been a little more than two years. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. That's how we start this. Do you remember? We remember when. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they were, wow, they were onto something already. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting indeed. I love it. Well, I hope if anyone does watch this, that they take this into their days and start noticing what they say and what comes about. Yeah. Put yourself in the future. It's, it's a great way to start your day. I remember when I started this day. This is what happened. Yeah. This is how I breathe life, breathe life into the world, or into myself. This is how I changed myself. Mm -hmm. This is how I healed. This is how I discovered all the love that was around me. Yeah. This is how I realized I didn't have to pay attention to anyone other than my divine guidance. Unless they were seeking love as well. This is what I discovered how the world changed today.
as a result of me changing. Yes. Yes, this is how I got more ability to affect the conditions of my own life without interference. This is how depression left. How hopelessness disappeared. This is how all possibility became, started to feel real. This is when I discovered who I really am. Yeah, and who others really are. This was when I became a non-judgmental witness to everything. This is when I just became ease. This is when I just took in a spirit with every breath. And this is when everyone started responding differently to me. This is when everyone, this is when everyone began to love themselves a lot more. Yes. This is when everyone began to feel good again. Energized, alive. This is when everyone started to think again. This is when all the bonds of hypnosis and mind control were broken. This is when logic became the way of the world again. And kindness. And beauty. And generosity. And compassion and empathy. This is when manipulation dissolved. This is when forgiveness crept in like a very silent yet powerful force. A balm. A balm. A balm of forgiveness came through. Yeah. And that's when laughter was just everywhere. Joy. <laughs> And all of those things had to happen to make way for forgiveness. Yeah. And then so much just developed from all of that. Yeah. This is when the sacred dominoes began their own journey. Yes. Of falling and creating right and wouldn't you know the earth did pause and then it took a different route than it has been for so many millennia mm. so the ast astronomers are um, <laughs> studying that now with great <laughs> great enthusiasm this is when the new science came about. This is when science returned. Yes. A fully integrated science. Right. This is when humanity understood the limitless possibilities of ourselves and our souls. And this is when anybody who watched this video just started listing their own rememberings. Yes. Couldn't contain themselves and just listen to us. Yeah. This 
So yeah, that words do you remember? Mm -hmm. I think we'll play a little bit of the track to that, what we can get away with on YouTube. Cool. As we leave and depart. Yeah. So that would be fabulous. Yes. All right. Enjoy. Remember. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Rita. Thank you.